GitHub for Mobile lets you get a lot of work done without sitting on your desk. And the latest version released just a few weeks ago makes the code review experience better than ever. Let's take a look at it today in this 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Code it Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something, and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and if you want to learn more about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub. Just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new videos like this. Today we talk about the new version of the GitHub mobile app, which is available for both iOS and Android, phones and tablets, and specifically about all the new features that introduce for pull requests and code review experience. And this is super cool because a lot of people, including myself, aren't just triaging notifications with the app, but are actually reviewing and merging code. And GitHub says that since the launch of the app, there have been about 700,000 code reviews and 350,000 merges, which is a lot of code. Anyway, enough talking, let's start the clock and get into it. It can be super painful to read code on your mobile when the lines keep wrapping. In fact, the ability to turn off the line wrapping is the top feature request from the community. Or I should say, it was, because now you can actually do it. And you can also change the font size of the code and force the dark theme on that as well. Another important thing that has been changed in the new version of this app is that you now have more control over how your commits appear to your team. And it is now possible to change the email associated with the merge and especially edit its commit description. And of course, change the merge type as well. One thing I find super helpful when using the GitHub web interface is adding comments on multiple lines of code. This feature is now available also in the mobile app. You just have to long press to enter multi-select mode. Finally, if you're dealing with larger reviews that spawn multiple files, it may be difficult to navigate them. Tapping the new jump to icon lets you quickly switch between the files so you can review everything way easier than before. The GitHub mobile app is available for users on personal, teams and enterprise cloud plans. And the good news is that it's coming to the GitHub enterprise server later this year as well. In fact, as you can see here, the mobile app for GitHub Enterprise Server has been added to the public roadmap as GA in Q4 2020, which means any time before the end of this year. And we're done, let's stop the clock. Another perfect timing. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the new version of the mobile app and especially about these new features of code reviews and pull requests. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave. Oh.